Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. Um, but I just wanted to do a ramble on kind of a few things related to sort of how like I'm seeing, maybe as I get older, um, God's kind of like prescribed will for me and how like this is different from like expectations like of others and what maybe is projected on you as a person because and I also think like I do look at the Bible because I think it's helpful for me but at the same time I don't think that following it to the T maybe it's because I'm literal as a person maybe it's because I went to a Catholic school and lent heavily on religion as uh, while I was growing up but as I get older I see more and more how everyone relates to the Bible differently and obviously this is probably quite obvious for a lot of people I think we all kind of like learn about the world in in different times but i think we also have a different perspective like if you get if you see that fact that you know if you go for a spiritual awakening or whatever at a younger age you have a certain perspective at that time whereas when you're older maybe you have like a more de developed perspective through age and life experience so i think it's still valid to, to say that um and maybe it's just more of a conscious realization because like obviously you always i think go through life with a prescribed will aka in through your own lens um, either a traumatised lens or a non-traumatised lens um, but obviously we all have our own lives and I don't know like I just think sometimes like if you this is why this is one was one of my issues I think with the church or maybe just like being in a Catholic school or whatever or like I don't know just being around a lot of other like maybe this is why we have things like jealousy like just let me connote this a minute this is just gonna be my my like observation maybe this is why we have things like jealousy and like i've noticed like over lockdown and stuff like it was a case of like there's a lot of good shit that goes on for a lot of people and like we can't all notice that we can't have like we have a capacity to have a certain amount of friendship for example we have a capacity to have a certain level of understanding which i touched on in the past in my love me or hate me whatever video one of my favorite videos i've ever posted and it's very inspirational and i watch it myself sometimes when i need to have some like <laughs> gumption or whatever but yeah um i definitely think we have a level of understanding and a capacity for other people because i think god uses us all in different ways and if we if we were like and it's not to say like the spirit and god doesn't work through another person just because we don't see it i i definitely think god blinds us to certain people and certain stuff if it's not supposed to be in a life path for the good and for the bad to be honest and thinking back maybe he blinded me to some of the bad stuff that went on to me um because i wasn't supposed to know about it and maybe i was potentially naive to the, the abuse or like negativity of certain people or just maybe like their different mindsets you know I, I definitely am also a believer of like people that are toxic and unhappy will attack other people but if you are you know I also think like yeah so like I'm not sort of like blaming myself for doing anything wrong or saying like that I was kind of like the butt of the joke or anything because I definitely believe that people are toxic like they're going to attack um and that's not my doing or my fault or anything like that but um I just definitely feel like we are though all used in a different way like i i think like even like people like paul in the bible for example he was an asshole in the bible um he used to like kill a lot of people and stuff a lot of people did not like him very much a lot of people did well i mean a lot of people kind of like worked under him in the like army or whatever um for the 42 years he reigned but he was also an asshole he killed a lot of people that loved god that had no reason to be killed for example and it's a case of like god uses assholes like it's kind of a case of this donald trump situation you know donald trump obviously has said some extremely controversial things whether they were jokes or whether they were just you know rude things to say who knows you know donald trump tweets i'm very much a believer let me just preface off we are all individual at the soul level we all have the same ability you know the same right to life as anyone else and i definitely think like you know someone might feel more entitled than another person you know god has made us all who we are and i'm not here to judge another person or validate them for being who they are or you know however entitled they are um but it's a case of like donald trump right so, he, so but he's still a leader like i could never be the president of the united states because i haven't got the 
focus or kind of balls to do so if you like um i like to think i have balls for some stuff i can be impulsive at times and do like to especially in in my youth <laughs> more so than what i am now even though i am still in my youth technically um like you know late teenage or whatever to do things extremely impulsively oh or like whatever i'm still in my 20s so whatever but um like you know and it's like God uses everyone and I'm not here to like validate God's plan as well because I'm not in the place of God either. Um, and it's very, you know, and, and I'm not going to blame myself anymore for not understanding the way God works because sometimes I have this level of like guilt maybe because I'm an empath or whatever, maybe p other people don't experience this because they're not empathic, um, to actually, I, I sometimes just like get on my own ass being like I don't understand this person enough. I definitely am now seeing like the spectrum of narcissism and empathy a lot clearer to the point where I realise as an empath I need to move more towards neutral because being healthy is in the middle like you don't want to be a codependent empath you know I mean I can't speak for another person but I wouldn't want to be a completely narcissistic narcissist to the point where like I literally have no one because I'm an ass to everyone and no one cares about me anymore you know I mean people probably care look people care about you you know again God has people for everyone and you know you don't have to be empathic to have friends so whatever but like you know like moving to the center as an empath is kind of the way I need to remind myself to move because sometimes I can just kind of like forget that I'm an empath and kind of beat myself up over stuff that maybe isn't even like you know obviously it's not my fault it's probably not even conditioned to me in that specific way in that specific situation but I still learn I still have this level of guilt due to being an empath um for sort of not and potentially a level of toxic abuse but like also that kind of brings me to this place of like you know i don't understand enough which is why this bad stuff is happening if i was to understand maybe it's a god complex thing i definitely think at points in life in the past um maybe it was like a, a sense of sort of like vampiristic vampiristic martyrism to the point where i kind of jesusified myself that didn't really make sense as a sentence but what I mean is sort of Jesusified myself in the point of to the point of you know I'm being sort of like crucified here by 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 someone or like you know and I think there's it's validation of that because sometimes people do get scapegoated and I certainly was therefore I put myself in this Jesus like position of like oh woe is me blah 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 and I think that's fair enough to do okay because you know if you're being betrayed then you're being betrayed but at the same time um it's not for, and i think there's this level sometimes of people that have had that sort of experience to kind of have this sort of sense of like if i would have understood the situation if i would have done this differently if if i would have done this if i wouldn't have done this this wouldn't have happened and sometimes the fact is things are out of our control you know lockdowns definitely taught me things are out of our control at times you know most things are out of our control besides the way we act even the way we we act ourselves are some sometimes out of our control if we're triggered to that extent if we've had that much stuff happen to us that we're actually to the point where we're you know actually unable to either control ourselves or have certain triggers which make us less able to control ourselves etc and i have to just accept that fact more you know i think god um it's there's a quote the bible God is the sculptor, we are the clay, and it's like, I need to just let God do his shit sometimes. I think it's this really difficult balance, at least for me, um, especially in this new astrological era, it's a very turbulent kind of, again, this is me sort of like, finding my own prescribed will, I, I, by talking about astrology, while talking next to the Bible, is a case of like, you know, and it says, <laughs> it says in the Bible, like, he turns his head away from evil do evil doers. Astrology is not consented in the Bible. You know, premarital sex is not consented in the Bible. I'm not saying to do those things, but I'm being honest as a human being and saying I do those things. You know, I think sometimes it's a sense of like spiritual narcissism that people can assume that people that follow God are people that are narcissistic slash kind of like unable to take accountability for certain things that they do. But the whole point of going to Jesus is to like have people repent for their sins but the fact is he uses spiritual narcissists to speak the word of God in a confident way in a way that kind of is understandable to people that want to follow Jesus you know in a church 
and um, you know be part of that spiritual be that sometimes narcissistic community um, you know and I'm not all about the church life I'm not gonna lie I don't go to church really but I do go into a church to pray anyway that's something else but you know I'm not a ugh, hypocrite in the synagogue particularly um, very much I know a little bit but like not you know I like to I have to keep my life well rounded because I'm not a spiritual narcissist you know and yeah I just think it's a struggle for me to find that balance and to kind of remind myself of I do ha like I think it's sometimes like a case of like God puts us in a position like we have free will we do things for ourselves I have to like put myself into the place I have to put myself into like, he's not going to dish it to me on a plate he doesn't serve me I serve him kind of thing but again I, I don't like the idea of serving someone either because that's just not how I am my personality which is why I also think it's a case of like I you know I'm not gonna lie like I get manipulative with people that try and control me okay even though God is not at a human level if I see God but 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 Jesus was put down on this earth as a human being so seeing someone demand something of me even me visualizing that being Jesus I will get manipulative because I don't like the thought of someone trying to control me apparently that's actually an autistic thing I'm not blaming on autism but there's this thing called like um demand avoidance or something where you're like demanded to do something and you 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 naturally can't do it or like you you go to a place of like not doing it because you don't want to be controlled or whether it's because you don't want to be controlled apparently it's, it's not it's a autistic thing and then if you have like a nicer way of going about it, saying like shall i do this but you know anyway it's demand avoidance apparently it's an autistic thing i do think i, I fall on the spectrum somewhere on it but also um i also think it's a case of like i don't want to be manipulated and I think that's fine and I think I, I was in a place once what probably where I was following Jesus more strongly and I don't to be honest looking back I don't I don't regret that time because I think I did need Jesus in my life but I also think I needed therapy a hell of a lot more which I've now done um but at the same time at that time with the resources I was in in my life I needed Jesus at that time so I don't regret that time but at the same time I was following him to an extent that I was also extreme, I was carrying around a lot of resentment at the same time, be that not through things that he had necessarily done, but to the point where I wasn't able to be the person potentially that I am now, for example, uh, having processed all of those negative things that have happened, and now Jesus can work through me in a much bigger way than he maybe could have done back then because I was like more kind of contained and not so um open and sort of like developed as a person and healed even and um just as i think like you know and and that's just kind of what it is but yeah i'm just starting it's just really difficult for me the balance of god has control of what he has control over versus what i have control over i really did i was sat down there the other day um and i just think about his actual size and his actual power compared to mine the other day and that just kind of occurred to me but my camera is on one percent so i'm going to close the video here because i do tend to ramble so i'm going to leave it there but thanks for listening and i'll speak to you soon <laughs> bye